Hey folks, Kristen for Guns.com. Today we are looking at pistol caliber carbines, the PCCs that have been popular in the competition and match shooting world, but I'm a hunting person. What can we do with pistol caliber carbines when it comes to hunting? What exactly is a pistol caliber carbine in the hunting world? What types of hunting do they excel in? What are the shortcomings? What is the legality of using these? And more. This is what we're going to check out today. Let's define the term pistol caliber carbine. It really is pretty much as simple as it sounds. It's right there in the name. A pistol caliber, a traditional handgun round in a carbine, a shorter length long gun. They're maneuverable guns that shoot quickly. Now generally, that means semi-automatics. That is what most people think of when you think pistol caliber carbine. But I'll tell you what, especially when we're hunting, we have to think outside that box a little bit. And if we think to lever actions, think about Henry repeating arms and the big boy. They're carbines with that shorter barrel length. They're fast shooting, lever actions cycle quickly, and they are chambered in traditional handgun, wheel gun rounds. So we look at the PCCs, like the Ruger PC Carbine and the High Point. They're nine millimeters, they're 40 Smith & Wesson, 45 ACP, 10 millimeter. We look at the lever action types from Henry and from Marlin. They're 38 and 357, 44 Magnum and 45 Colt. These are all traditional pistol caliber chamberings in short carbine length guns. This is a whole new world for hunters. Many of these guns are newer for sure. The Henry Homesteader 9mm came out just this year. The Ruger PC carbines have been around for a while. The High Point carbines. Lots of other AR based platforms in those same chamberings. A lot of the lever guns in handgun chamberings have been around for decades. And you know what? Folks have been hunting with them for decades, using them on the range, using them around the ranch, and just having do all guns. Let's look first at what the term PCC typically defines. And those are the semi automatic carbines in, say, 9mm. That's by far the most common. The 9mm, by its nature, is a much better defense round than it is a hunting round. However, you have low recoil, you have rapid follow-up shots, you have a maneuverable platform, and it's ideal in tight quarters like blinds or in dense terrain. But that's where, in those handgun chamberings like 9mm, like a 380, or even a 40 Smith & Wesson, or a 45 ACP, we really need to be aware of legality depending on the state you're hunting in. A nine millimeter especially is not allowable as a deer hunting round in a lot of states. Some are, some aren't. A 10 millimeter is a better choice in some states, but you really need to check out those regulation books before you start hunting with your pistol caliber carbine. This is where things really evolve when you include lever actions in the pistol caliber carbine market. When we're talking about the 357 Magnum, the 45 Colt, and the 44 Magnum, you can expand your range a little bit and the capability, especially when we're talking about things like deer hunting. Midwestern deer hunters have loved those, what we're now calling pistol caliber carbines, in the lever action carbines for decades for hunting deer. They're low recoiling, they have great capacity, and they're fast shooting. And also, as we mentioned, they're compact and they're easy to take up with you in your ladder stand or in your hunting blind and have a round that, yes, has a much more limited range than, say, a 270 or a 30-06, but still certainly does the job and does it legally and well on that size game. At the end of the day, you really have to do your homework with any pistol caliber carbine. You hear that terminology thrown around with foot pounds of energy and terminal performance. But when you're a hunter, you really need to think about that in practical terms. Can you harvest that game cleanly, whatever it might be? Can you do it legally? Should you do it? And you also need to be aware of different restrictions. Maybe there's magazine capacity restrictions or there are barrel length restrictions in your area. If you do your homework and you study the laws, you can really expand the use of your pistol caliber carbine. One main benefit that I find in the pistol caliber carbine world, which really builds confidence in shooters, is that I can be an okay shooter with my short barreled 9mm carry gun or my snub nose 38. But when I put that round into a shoulder mounted weapon with a longer barrel that's not only getting better ballistics but giving me a better platform for firing, I become a more confident shooter with that round. I can place them more accurately because I have a better base on that firearm. 
it allows you to use that same type of ammunition in a different weapon. So you're really building a familiarity with the round, how it performs downrange, but you're expanding your arsenal, so to speak, gun collection, if you like to think of it that way. But all in all, even if you're just going out to the range, they're a darn neat platform to send some rounds down with. Let's just take a real quick look at a few of the most popular pistol caliber carbines out there and how I'm expanding my definition. You can go into more detail if you want to check some of our other videos on this channel where we break down specifically some of these platforms. But let's look at the newest one first, that Henry Homesteader, a semi-automatic 9mm with a 16 plus inch barrel and walnut stocks, classic styling, tang safety, interchangeable magazines for Henry, Glock, Smith & Wesson, and SIG. We can go to the Ruger PC carbine, also a 9mm. Dozens of different models of this thing in state compliant ones, even for those of you in states that don't allow a lot of semi automatics. Again, magazine fed by Ruger or even Glock magazines, a blowback action that's light recoiling with a 16 inch barrel. Lots of different features. We look at a similar one at a lower price point in that high point carbine. Chambered for a 380, 9mm, 40, 45, 10mm, you name it, and pistol caliber carbines, they build it. They're a little blocky, they're a little tank like, but they just plain run. Then we expand our definition of PCCs into the lever action world. The classic current production is the Henry Big Boy, 44 mag, 45 Colt, 357, 41 mag, one of my favorites, even the 327 Federal Magnum, those traditional revolver rounds, most of them with a little more horsepower than the pistol rounds, expand your hunting possibilities a little bit more in the short 16 and a half inch barrel walnut furniture, seven ish round capacity, fast cycling lever action platforms in lots of different finishes you name it henry has it you want something different in a lever action the pof usa tombstone a brand new platform this year a nine millimeter lever action so taking that semi-automatic round and flipping it into a lever action we haven't handled it specifically on the range but it's sure an interesting looking gun and if we really want to take one giant step past PCC, we can mention Bighorn Armory. Those lever action models in 460 Smith & Wesson, 45 Colt, 454 Casul, and of course that hulking 500 Smith & Wesson. Technically, they're handgun rounds. They build them in carbine length, and those things will take just about any game on the planet if you're talking about hunting with a pistol caliber carbine. By their very nature, handgun rounds have a limited range. For hunters in the pistol caliber carbine world, that means doing your homework, knowing your accurate distances, the ranges for ethical harvest, the types of game that you can legally hunt. But at the end of the day, whether you're buying the gun for hunting, for range time, for competition, just for having around the house, pistol caliber carbines are certainly a very solid choice with some more affordable and accessible ammunition. The problem though, it's easy to burn through a whole year's supply of ammunition and a couple range visits between your handgun and your pistol caliber carbine. I'm Kristen for Guns.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to check out that Guns.com vault if you're looking for a new or used pistol caliber carbine and the ammo to feed it. And hit the like, share, and subscribe button to stay up to date on our channel for more content like this one coming your way.